The UNH football team is advancing to the semifinals. After a hard-fought game against Chattanooga, the Wildcats came out on top with a final score of 35-30. Football game, great football game. And um, it's a really good football team we played today. And they do a lot of different things uh, on the offensive side of the ball that, that create problems for defenses. And, then on, and on the defense, they're a strong physical team. That being said, I was really proud of the way our kids just stayed the course, fought, found a way to win the football game, um, gave up a bunch of yards in the first half, dropping balls not as, not as clean as we've been past, still only down six, like you told them at halftime, it felt like a lot more, but only down six, and then second half, just things just stayed the course and, uh, and, and made a couple plays, got a couple stops. You know, defensively, <laughs> We lost a couple third down situations, held them to a field goal, you know, and then the late one we gave up a touchdown, but just felt different in the second half the way we played defense than we did in the first half. A couple huge plays. Obviously, the, the, the pass to RJ uh, from Sean for the, for the big score the second time we had it. And then the, the, the screen pass, um, well executed. As, as good as it was that Sean and RJ did the job, the guy who made the play go was Rob Bowman. He made an unbelievable block, stood on it for about five or six seconds, and something we've run before and done. Kids executed again. Just my, you know, hat goes off to these kids. What I heard, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really do much. I just, just did my job. But um, the guy who made the play was, like Jose said, Rob Bowman. He stood up an All American DN for about five seconds. Like that was very impressive. And then Jimmy G and Sante all week they tell him like after you pitch it, seal the edge, help out Nico. And that's what he did. As soon as he pitched it, he chipped off and uh, he hit the he hit the DN. Nico was kind of struggling with him, and that made the play go because that gave Sean an extra second to be able to get out and get the ball out in front to me. And then once that happened, I looked out field and I had three linemen in front of me. So I felt safe behind them. I don't see who, who wouldn't feel safe behind them. You told the kids in the locker room, um, Prasky and Breda did an unbelievable job. And, and, and I've been singing Brad Prasky's praises all year long. He's the best GD kicker in this, uh, in this conference and the best one in the East, man. He does a hell of a job locating it. They had a terrific returner. He located it. He kicked extra points today. You know, Braden located his kicks on kickoff, and then our hands team Park went out and got the onside kick. Just was it was really clean, and you got to do those things to win those type of games. The UNH football team is playing here in Cowell Stadium for the semifinals next weekend. For UNH Wildcat Productions, this is Fatima Jabber.